better way to start vacation week than with a nice glass of a margarita. So welcome back to the vlog, guys. Um, if you saw last week's vlog, this is a continuation. I'm back home in Atlanta. I had this week off as vacation week. Um, so I'm just staying home, chilling this week, resting, um, much needed. Uh, but today is Monday. Just running some errands today. Just got back from the grocery store and just having a glass of margarita right now. Good morning, guys. It is 9 a.m. Um, I woke up around maybe 8, 8.30ish. Um, getting my day started. Gonna go down and make some breakfast. Today is going to be a big study day for me. This week is, I'm really trying to study this week. So we have our entering exam. We take it every year at the end of February. And this exam essentially, um, prepares us or let us lets us know where we stand for our board exam so after you're done with um emergency medicine residency you then take your board specialty exam to become board um certified in emergency medicine and so we take these in service exams every year in february and they're kind of um like a prep exam for the board exam essentially um so every year hopefully you should see some improvement compared from your first year to your second year to your third year so I didn't have a chance to really study at all last month because I was on trauma and was just super busy. But this month I'm in the ED, then I had this vacation week. Um, the exam's at the end of February, so I really want to utilize this week to get some studying in. <laughs> Today is National Black Woman Physician Day. Um, if you didn't know, there's only 2% of black women physician working in the United States. That number is very low. Um, so it's definitely important to recognize black women physicians. Hopefully in the future, this number continues to increase and we continue to increase diversity in the medical field. But I'm rocking my Black Doctors Are Dope um, sweater. Let's see if I get a better angle. Yeah, black doctors are dope. Um, when I went to my residency program, I was the only um, black female uh, resident um, with the new intern class that came in this past year. We added two to that number. Um, so yeah, you just gotta keep pushing, keep moving forward and recognize your greatness. But I'm just heading to Walmart to get some nails. We are finally, finally hanging up our wedding photos. We got three printed out, um, one individual, one of Stanley, one of us together, and then I printed an individual of myself. I don't know what Sam's Club did, but they like altered the photo to make it really dark. Let me show you. Yeah, I have no idea why they altered the photo. I called customer service. They were like, you know, we kind of, we can't explain. We don't have answers for you. We can give you a refund, but that was it. So because they can't really guarantee that if I order another one, it'll actually be in the right tone that I um, that it's supposed to be in. I don't really want to order from them again. I mean, look at this. This compared to what it's supposed to be. I just don't know how that happened. And I don't know, I'd rather not risk it and order it again. Side by side comparison. It's just so weird that, yeah, the photo was altered. Anywho, um, these photos are gonna be hung up right here. We're gonna go ahead and hang them up and place this one eventually. All right, so I'm at Walmart. I got the nails that I needed to hang pictures and then I went ahead and um, got the picture printed here. They don't have 12 by 16, which is what I need, but they have 12 by 18. 
Um, but I think I can make this work with the frame that I got. So let's head home and see. So the reason why the 12 by 18 ended up working in the 12 by 16 frame is that because there was so much white space up here, I was able to move this up a bit so that the 18 inches fit within the 16 inches. So yeah, that worked out. adjustments to get all the measurements right a different angle here yeah I am happy with the way that it turned out all right it is time to study um I truly feel like emergency medicine is was one of the more difficult specialties because you just have to know everything like from pediatrics to geriatrics to OB to gynecology like you literally have to know a little bit of everything because obviously anything can walk through the door um so because of that it's a lot to study it's a lot to learn um so yeah emergency medicine ain't easy but i'm about to start some studying today i want to do some practice questions just from my four years of medical school i've learned that the best way to study and to prepare for an exam is to do practice questions because you can read all day long all you want review all all you want but if you're not looking at how the questions are going to be asked or even building the stamina to get ready for an exam or just seeing um how to decipher certain questions you're not truly really preparing well so for me the best thing i've learned to do is do practice questions also still reviewing i love watching videos so hippo em board review is one of the videos i use so they pretty much break it down by subject they have trauma cardio um gi ent all the different organ systems they have videos for um so i do those every once in a while i do practice questions we have some assigned to us that we do weekly then i also do my own uh what else there's this website um i think i mentioned before um ecg weekly um ekgs are extremely important I really know how really need to know how to um read and interpret and understand ekgs so it's definitely something that i'm practicing but Today, I'm going to do two sets of practice questions. Gonna look at a few EKGs and probably like two videos. Getting ready to make some dinner, having some Brussels sprouts, some wings, and some sweet potatoes. All right, so I blend some habanero peppers, onions, garlic, and ginger, and then add, <coughs> ooh. add my seasonings, add this to it, ooh. it's making me hot. Next is I like to boil um, my meat first and then either put it in the oven or take it in the fryer. But boiling it really allows all those seasonings to get in. I need to add a little bit of water to this first. All right, while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to get started on the Brussels sprouts. Um, just wash them, half them, coat it with some oil, and then like salt, pepper, garlic powder. Um, and I usually put um, balsamic vinaigrette on it as well. Alright, these are going to go in the oven and bake for maybe like 25-30 minutes. 
Brussels sprouts are done. Chicken wings are done. And I did some in the air fryer as well. Just got my nails done. Long overdue. <laughs> But I am um, heading to the esthetician. Um, I'm getting a chemical peel today. So pretty much um, like um, hyperpigmentation has been like a problem area for my skin. So chemical, kills, chemical pills are good with that. I've also been having like breakouts around my chin area. But um, I did microneedling before, which helped with the hyperpigmentation. But chemical pills um, are also helpful. So I'm heading there to get that done this morning. Y'all, my face was burning. She says she usually does three to four layers. After that third layer, tingling, <laughs> burning everywhere. So I only did three layers, didn't stop. She also did um, some extractions, which were very painful. Um, but the peeling process um, is seven to 10 days. On day three to four, that's when you really start to notice some peeling. By day seven, the peeling should be complete. I have this white cast, and that is the sunscreen that she put on. Um, but I'm about to do some EKGs. Um, like I mentioned, that website ECG Weekly. Let me just show you a little bit how it looks. All right, so ECG Weekly every week, um, they put out a new case. Um, in addition to the cases, you can um also go back and look at everything that they ever posted and so if you have a specific topic in mind that you want to um, review EKGs on like ACS or um, a fib, a flutter, pretty much all the topics are here. So if I need any kind of refresher or review, I'll just go look at said topic and they have um, many different cases that you can look at. So this past week's um, case, let's see. All right, so they'll give you a prompt um, so a little history. So this is a 50 year old male comes in with palpitations. He has a regular wide complex tachycardia. Um, they try to uh, cardiovert him and he goes into V fib. This is what the initial rhythm is right there. And then here are some questions, but then this is the whole case. They walk through the whole case with you. This one is 16 um, minutes. So yeah, definitely good um, practice right here. If you can start at your intern year, that's great, but you can start it at any level that you're at. And um, it's been really helpful for me. Um, EKGs was my weak point. I'm still trying to get stronger at them, but this website is very helpful with them. Oh, by the way, it is $26 a year. There is a fee for it, but super, super cheap for the value that you're getting, just $26 a year. Good evening, guys. Um, so it is Friday, two days later. An update on the chemical pill. Um, it's already starting to get some pilling around the chin area. Um, she actually said it'll take three to four days to start pilling, but it is pilling a bit earlier. My camera battery is about to die. But it's Valentine's Day on Monday. Um, today's Friday, so we're going out to dinner to celebrate today. So I'm about to get dressed for that. All right, we are ready and headed out to dinner. dinner last night was really nice the food was really good um this is what day three of pilling is looking like um thankfully when i go back to work in the next few days on tuesday night i work night shift so i'm gonna have a mask on not that you are gonna be seeing me and i think the pilling should end by wednesday because wednesday would be day seven but later this evening i'm meeting up with a friend um, we're gonna go out for dinner and then we're heading, um, Stanley and I are heading back down to Florida tomorrow, which is Sunday. And then work resumes on Tuesday for me. So yeah, this was a nice little break. Um, I did do some studying. I'm glad with, this, uh, with the amount of studying that I got done this week. 
and y'all the studying truly just does not end when you're in medicine um from pre-med to med school to residency to your time as an attending it's not the same level of studying at each stage but you're constantly learning so you're definitely a lifelong learner when you're in medicine now that i'm in residency it's definitely a different kind of studying and um i feel like I'm learning with the purpose now uh, because I know like this is directly going to impact my patient care and just make me a better physician um, by the knowledge that I'm gaining. You know, in medical school, you knew you were doing this, this for your patients as well, but there was a lot of like mundane little things like biochem or certain things were just like, oh, you have to memorize it for the test and then kind of forget it. Um, but now the studying is a bit different, a bit more meaningful in my opinion, but at the end of the day, it's it's still studying. Um, it's still learning, it's still reviewing, and yeah, you're definitely going to be a lifelong learner if you're going into this profession. And I feel like when you become an attending, that may be the most difficult time because you're no longer like in a structured environment where um, you're given weekly conferences, you're given updates on the latest uh, literature, the latest recommendations, and as an attending working independently, it's really on you to know the latest um, as far as treatment for your patients, as far as medical care. So yeah, it is a part of it. <laughs> But I do want to have this vlog up on Sunday morning, which means I need to get to editing for this vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up now. Um, I'll be back next week with um, uh, probably a week in the life of night shift because I do work five straight night shifts next week. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and leave all of your video suggestions that you would like to see in the comment section below. Bye, guys.